Yahweh ba Hashem, Yahweh Shah Barakata To all my brothers and the sisters that keep the law And the faith On the highways, byways Pushing commandments to all of my people In the place where they never were equal And the people who run it are evil Shooting us down in the street Poison the food that we eat Poison the water we drink Making it hard to think The devil is playing for keeps They get the money and go Leaving us stuck on the bottom Soon as they spot them, they got them I tell you the devil is rotten I know that them niggas are scheming and plotting It won't be forgotten Yahweh is watching Soon as he give us the power, my nigga You know that we getting it popping Yahweh ba Hashem, Yahweh Shah made my uh, Unfiltered response to this So, And I want all the rest of you guys to be able to do this When you come on, whether you agree with me or not Please, please come on and say whatever it is on your mind. So I'm going to bring in this brother right here. What's going on? Uh, is it uh, your Al? Yo, all. You all. Okay. Talk to me. What are your thoughts on this? How you doing, Tommy? I, I've watched you for a long time. Um, and I was aware of what happened to you in Harlem. I wasn't one of the people that felt like that should have happened to you, Tommy. I think that was an embarrassing moment uh, for the conscious community for that to happen to you at an event like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, brother? Yes, I want to put that out there. Thank All you right. so much. Well, for real, thank you. All right. Go ahead. Uh, uh, the uh, prick mice, prickman, whatever the gentleman was that uh, was previous to me, he's the reason that I really wanted to come in and speak to you. It's because of the rhetoric that surrounds these types of events. And I understand you have a feeling about it. I understand you have an audience and you have a position. I agree with a, a lot of the things you say when it comes to chastising our people. Mm -hmm. uh, the things you say are necessary uh, I, I'm in a Hebrew Israelite group we teach in uh, Woodruff Park in Atlanta and we chastise our people in a similar fashion but what, what, what's the difference is it, it comes down to the infrastructure and what I want to say is he, he kind of hit the nail on the head in the end when he said I could go outside I'm a, I'm a white trash uh, electrician and I can go outside and shoot somebody but because of who I am I'd probably get five to seven years for manslaughter that right there is what I want to talk about Tom okay and, 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 and I have some, uh, some choice words for you sir because your platform is powerful and very large larger than ours is uh, larger than most groups are especially YouTube based I mean you have a hell of an audience but I would look at you in a leadership position I would say Tommy Sotomayor in our community, based on what he was able to accomplish with his own hard work, uh, even even being on that talk show with those women where you were trying to tell the young the young lady that, uh, you know, she, she's beautiful without the other people's hair on her head, mm -hmm. which is something that we say, something that we speak on. I watched you on that show and those women weren't ready to listen to you. They weren't ready to understand from the leadership standpoint, the effect of the choices that they make, what it's going to happen, the ripple effect down the line. See, I know you understand that, right? So this is what I want to talk about, all right? The simple fact that a white man can feel like he can go unpunished or improperly punished for murdering a black person is what's wrong with our people. That's the problem. The leadership standpoint, we have people that make it to all levels of society, like you, uh, like our judges, like our lawyers, our doctors, they make it to all levels of society, but we cannot tap in to that nepotism factor that white people tap into. But when it comes to us, when we're in a position of power and in a position of leadership, we always have to filter it through those who are surrounding us, which are normally white people. But we don't have to do that all the time, especially when people like you who have your own platform your 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 choices, thoughts, and words don't always have to be filtered through the acceptance of their lens. It's a, it's it's absolutely nonsense to discuss how a man who was shot on the side of the street should have reacted. That that whole conversation is absurd. Why? What we? I'm sorry. What? Why? That conversation is absurd because white children do not discuss why they shouldn't be murdered today and the better choices they should have made after they did it. They I've actually, hold on. I've actually seen white people who've had their own children die in the midst of acting stupid point out that they were acting stupid and I wish my child was still here, but their choices caused them to die and I would like for other children to not make the same choice. I've actually seen that happen on the news and I can show you some of those articles in which I did because I, I ended up giving them praise and said, this woman who's lost her life to a police officer,
took the police, lost her son's life to a police officer, took the time and said, the police officer was right. My child was a dick. And I want no other child to lose their life doing this. I've actually seen this. And I agree with you. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you no, off. No, God, you didn't. I was just saying, I'm this. So that does show that they do have times where they say our child lost their life because of what they did. Now, see what you said. You made the point for me, Tommy. You said the child was acting like a dick. Me jogging in the street. I use the word dick. They didn't say that. I'm saying my I know, words. I know, I know, I know. I, know, I, know. I, I was saying, I, they were just saying my child should, if they had reacted a different way, they could have yeah. gotten a better result. He was being a jerk off. I'll I, I be around white people. I understand mm. how they criticize each other. Uh, he, he was being a jerk off. He should have He should have carried himself in a different manner. But what I'm saying is you're not being a jerk off just for uh, walking to your father's house with a damn hoodie on. That doesn't make you a jerk off. Uh, jogging down the street in a neighborhood you don't live in because you're running. You, you decided to go for a jog doesn't make you a jerk off. The fight or flight reaction to random white people in a truck who might possibly tie you to the back of that truck and drag your black ass because you said well damn eff it man we gotta get very it in true no no i agree I, I, no no i agree with you on that so what i'm trying to say is live to fight another day i agree with you, you got these white men who got these guns on this truck you you remember what happened to james bird so you're thinking to yourself that shit ain't gonna happen to me i ain't trying to get dragged up out here in these middle of these streets you're right we also had a video where I showed some white people saw this black dude just walking down the side of the road. They took their truck and ran over that, that, that black dude. So we've seen these stories. What I'm trying to say is this. Don't run at the man with the gun. Run away from the man with the gun because you can't beat that gun up. Why is this not sound, why is this not sound logic? Uh, it's not it's not sound logic because you're leaving out the human element, Tommy. You're making black people have to be the most critical decision making split second. Take they have, oh, wait, wait, no, no, no. I'm not making it. This man just lost his life. So it is that. See, you're trying to make it Pollyanna and act like it shouldn't be that in the case of a man who's actually dead. It'd be yeah, different if he wasn't. Then you'd be right. But he's dead. Level of stress. No, but I'm saying he's dead. So this is critical movement we have to do. Remember, Mike Brown, critical movement we had to do. Uh, the yeah, dude up in Long that, Island. That, These are all he's life or death that. movements. You cannot then say I'm making it that way. It's been that way before I was born, sir. Yeah, but that's fine. But that's where we have to change things. I don't want to live in the world that you're designing here where we have to behave exactly the way that white people need for us. That's to why live. we change it within the system, not change it as the, the, the incident happens. It's insane that y'all sit around all day when ain't shit going on. You don't talk about this. But then when it happens, now you want to talk about it. And next week, this man's life, because when it happened, y'all didn't give a shit. This happened on February 23rd. This is March. I mean, this is May the 6th. So, but so let me say this. In a week, y'all been and forgot about this motherfucking man's life. And you'll be right back to coronavirus saying, fuck the government. I'm going to be up in a big club and all this. You will not sit up here and say, I'm tired of having to deal with the way the white man runs the law. So we're going to change that shit before we have to be subjected to it again. Right now, you're arguing if Donald Trump is racist, but none of y'all are arguing about your tax collector, your mayor, your governor. Ain't none of these damn arguments. Your senators. Most of y'all don't even know who these people are. And you ain't arguing them. None of y'all go and look at the laws on the books and come back. Why is there no YouTuber talking about, okay, I live in Philadelphia. Let me tell you about some of the fucked up laws that are on the books that are hurting black people right now. Let me tell you about how they're fucking with the tax code or how they maneuvering around with the school systems to try to put the black people in the worst possible situations. So they uh, are gerrymandering these districts and things like that. Nobody's talking about this. Okay, but we are. That I mean, our, our group is called the Sons of Thunder Israelites. We talk about these issues. We speak to these officials. I'd love to be able to see some of those. Please, if you could tell me about uh, you guys talking about the laws in Atlanta that are affecting black people. Oh, I'd love to be oh, able to see these videos. I, I, actually, we have people that work on the inside. But no, 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 the inside. See, just like we're talking right now, you're not talking about the inside right now. You're publicly talking about me, and you're publicly talking about what I say publicly. So I need these things so I can talk about the black things, too, so I can do what you think I should be doing with this big platform I built. I would love to be able to educate these black people on these. I promise I don't. I will. That's why I'm having a discussion with you.
Okay, so now, let me finish. So now, what I didn't tell you what I think you should do with your platform. I acknowledge that you have a large platform and mm-hmm. that you are in a leadership position. I, 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 I have yet to tell you what I think that you should do. You're in Georgia right now with me, right? Because I'm going to start with myself before anything. Before You're in Georgia with me, right? Let me ask you something. You're in Georgia with me right now, right? Absolutely. All right, who, who are our senators? Uh, I know the mayor, but when it comes to the senator, I just know his policy. I'm not familiar with his name. We have more than one. I, I'm not. Fam- I know the gentleman that opened back up the, gov- uh, the the government, the governor. I'm familiar with his policy on why senator. he wants to do that. I'm familiar with his policy on why. What's he the governor's to do that. name? What's the governor's I'm, name? I'm not, I'm not educated on his name. Okay, I'm see, educated I, on I, what I'm he's ju- done. I just proved my point. I hope you know this. But but that's that's fine because I didn't come here to tell you that I'm a politician expert. There are people that are qualified personnel to do that thing. No, it's not I being a politi- it's not a being a pol- politician that, that's expert. Why I'm no, no, listen, no, no. It's not being a politician expert. These people are subjecting us to certain things that we believe are racist. Like you said, we should not and, have to live under these laws. Well, we have people who are. If you're in a gang, I guarantee you. you I'm, not, know, I'm not in a gang. No, no. I said no. no I'm saying if we, you and I were in a gang, guess who we'd know who our we would know who our representatives were who keep going to talk to the other gangs about. We would know who they were. Yeah. I guarantee you, we would. But that, that's apples and oranges because you I know who the team captain team. is for the damn Hawks. And that's <laughs> the point. That's, that's the point. When you have the the freaking water boy, his job is not to know the agent of your star player. We have something called structure and organization. That's why I called in here. I never called in here to challenge you on on policy mm-hmm. and on who's running the government because I don't step into that arena. I stay in my arena. But, but I we have shouldn't complain that about that people. either, though. If we don't want to step in it, if my job is to be the best towel boy there is, then why the fuck am I talking about management? Yeah, because... I'm here to talk about structure and organization. Now, bring me back to my original point. Go ahead. One thing at a time. One thing at a time. It's very, it's very easy to do that and filibuster, but one thing at a time. I'm you not filibustering. Go ahead. I, I, I want to hear what you got to say. Go you, ahead. You are, because you're making... You're, you don't know my point yet, but you're making it pre- uh, predicated on whether I know who's in uh, office in our government. That isn't what I was predicating it on. I was saying when you were talking about we shouldn't, as black people, have to maneuver a certain way in this society. I've been saying if you believe that, then change it. OK, so that's where you get structure. That brings me Back to my point. So I have people with me whose job in my organization is to know those things and to handle that diplomacy. My job is to be a street speaker and to bring out the Bible and teach the Holy Scriptures and give my people some type of order or moral code. That's not that I don't go outside of my area. Scriptures say, if you don't know the matter, lay your hand upon your mouth and do not speak. So So I shall be speaking right now about the morality of blacks then, right? But what I do know is that without structure, we can never achieve that nepotism supremacy that you just spoke about with the white man. You just said, and he admitted, it's when they are in positions of power, they make decisions for their own people. We are the only people that when we get in a position of power, we have to filter it through their lens because we're worried about our own Success. Will you that acknowledge what happened. else he admitted? Do you will oh, you acknowledge what else he admitted? If you're going to bring out what he said, what you'd also bring out is that this white man who benefits on this white system pointed out how this white system is corrupt. He pointed out the corruption in that they white. All know that. No, they no, all know no, that. no. I, the point is, I might know I'm cheating on my girl. I'm not dumb enough to just sit up here and be on the show and say it. So if I do say it, that might mean that I think it's wrong to the point of where I'm willing to lay down my sword. So if he, he just was, told you he's a layman electrician IT guy, means he probably answers phones and might plug in a Cat 3 cable. Let's not do that. Let's stay focused on what we can then don't, do. Wait a minute. If you want to belittle who he is, then don't bring him up and just make your fucking oh, point. I'm not going to let you keep doing that. He the death of our own people Hold with on. his conversation. I'm not going to let you keep doing that and disparaging this damn man's character while he's not no, doing it to you. And you're he's not so here focused himself. on his character, but you guys had a good laugh together about a man who died when 
face with clear and present because danger. Because actually, he didn't display. Actually, he took up for the man. Are you are you an idiot? He took the up for the man. man. Oh, don't get a, don't get emotional. The white oh, man. No, 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 sir. You're the, the one that got emotional. Hold on, sir. You're the one that's getting man. emotional. He's telling me I'm filib. Don't tell me with. don't get emotional when you're the first one who called me filibustering and all this other stuff, and you got to disparage that doing. man when you couldn't get to the point. Or gaslight. Not filibustering. If you want to be more specific, look, man, just doing. get to your point because now you're starting to irritate me. Get to your point. I'm gonna let you have it. Uh, Tommy, we... Tommy, you didn't even let me make my. I point. said that's why I said go. I, look, I said I'm backing out and I'm letting, letting you get to it because now you're just starting to be irritating for no damn reason. So yeah, I'm gonna let you talk and I'm just gonna not listen. Irritating when he says, "Hey, this guy was breaking into houses." This guy, you he didn't judge his character. Yeah, he proof. said that's what that's he was doing. You asked me for proof of who the governor is and who's the senator. Did you ask him for proof or a record of such? No, let no. me tell you. I said what no, I heard. Oh, no, I did. I said I heard the same things earlier. I'm going to take a look at what that as well. Source? Just like you would ask me, what's his primary source? I don't take what he says as law. Hold on. And he I didn't. Hold that. on. And I didn't, and this man did not use that to say he should have been shot. He actually said it didn't matter if everything they said. Yeah, but that's was... how they assassinate your character to make your life and the, what happened to you less pertinent to what the social climate is right now. Hold on. That's what I'm saying. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Negroes do that to me every damn day. I talk uh, about we're black women. So... about what people do shit to me. Okay, so then don't do it then. If, if, if we, then we will point out if every... Don't try to act like it's just white people assassinate character. Everyone... Nobody said white people. I'm talking about prickings. He's one person. See, I'm not defending them or accusing them. He didn't them. assassinate the man's character. He said, even I'm if this up. is true. He said, hey, even hey, if the me, things they said is pardon true. Me, pardon me for not really giving a damn about him. My concern is... Then don't people. bring him up when you brought when you come on the show. Just talk about you. Because Jesus you're bringing Christ. him up. But anyway, I digress. The main thing is people in a leadership position of our nation filter everything they do through the lens of people like him. Instead of saying with the power that I have, I'm my own boss, I'm my own entity. I can decide the narrative that's surrounding my people. I know it sounds un I, I know it sounds illogical to a person like you. That's why I said I disagree right, with you. Not from an emotional standpoint, but from the rhetoric that you see. Put and, and do you understand? See this man. Uh, 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 these, devils, man. these Negroes they, they, think they that they can just say like anything this. to you uh, and try to get you to problem. respond a certain way, so then they can say they won. I know in a person like you, this doesn't sound logical to you. And then when you do get yeah, tired of them this, talking this, to you this, like this, that, look, I didn't even cry. I didn't even bitch. You said, "Oh, you're sounding like an idiot." I don't care. No, you did, bitch. Care. You said, "Now you're getting emotional, Tommy." You did. So, so I'm not upset. So what I'm trying to tell you is I'm not upset either. Point. Back to the point. It, it doesn't have to become an argument between me. So and then maybe you, you should learn to speak that. on the point and quit trying to, as you said, assassinate people's character. I'm just you dealing with every problem. You say. I'm just dealing with everything you say. No, if you say not. something, I'm going. With. You didn't it's tell me problem. what your stance was, and I said it was illogical or it didn't make sense. You said I know my stance to you would be illogical. With now hearing me say, what do you think about what I just said? It, 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 you, you're showing it by your behavior. Wow, that's so that, there we go. So as long as, listen, yeah, sir, I'm a little as bit long as you think it's okay for you to respond, oh, like sir, as long as you think it's okay for you to figure what I'm doing and figure what I'm saying, then it was okay I'm, for I'm those white men to you, figure what that white, that black dude was doing and figure that he was a thief and figure that they needed to kill him by your logic. Because no, you're not even stopping not. when I'm telling you, not. stop yeah, doing it. it. We're black. Absolutely We're both not. black. I'm asking absolutely you not, not. to no, do I'll, what I'll, you're I'll, doing I'll, to me. I'll, I'll I'm I'll asking you not. not to do it as an adult, and you won't stop. No, I'm I, asking I, you I as an adult, stop. Because of your interjections. That's Sir, I'm asking you to stop. That if you want to know how I feel about something, just ask. And you couldn't agree and say, that's fair. Oh, it is fair, but I've been watching your show this whole there time. There we go. See, as long as there's a butt. And so anytime you white people, you've been watching the news enough to know niggas do this, so don't worry about that black person saying, wait till that's I do even, something. That's not even similar. That's not even the same. Tommy. No, it is. Because, uh, uh, look, sir, there's no line where you can tell somebody don't judge people before you find out. Once you start having this line of where you can do it, it keeps going. When they have a nepotism position and the ability to hand down benefits because of the position that they hold, we don't do it because we filter it through the lens of white people. That's what we're talking about. 
you bringing up the other things, I'm trying to go there with you. There's some things I'm not going to be able to go there with you. I've even admitted that. I mean, what level of maturity do you require? But what I'm saying is, if, if you're going to be like that, and you're going to just justify the death of individuals because that's the way it is, well, I have a suggestion, especially for our people. You can change the rhetoric around all, yo, I go, I go outside and niggas are killed niggas and it's all good, but when a white person kills a nigga, they're upset. We all know that conversation and we all know that issue. The people that are on a different level of the conversation are not even stuck there anymore. We're trying to figure out how do you get beyond and past that. And one way to get beyond and past that is reversing the self-image. See, what you do is you're afraid right now that two people in a truck are going to kill you and you have to make a fight or flight reaction and people get to make a commentary about it. But when do white people have to be placed in that circumstance where their death is not the pertinent issue, but instead their response to the, uh, the, the clear and present danger that's coming towards them? So as long as the conversation works in that way, our people are always going to come from the inferiority complex where they have to think, is it my life or is it my decision? Can I be a human in this moment or do I have to be a computer and make all the right choices in a split second? And the reason you have to do that is because the state of oppression that you live in and the, the privilege that Prickens just admitted based on who he is that these people have. So how do you change that? It's the people that are in leadership positions with a platform. Stop filtering everything through the lens of white people. Learn how to put your issues first and your people first. There should be no conversation of a Chinese man choking your sister out and kicking her, but there's a line of black women outside to buy weed the next day. That conversation should not exist. When Tommy tells you that, you're already wrapped up in your anger towards his opinion on other things. But when he said that, he was right. These are the things that I'm talking about. So now I'm saying something to you because I disagree with your position on this. And here comes the criticism. And uh, hey, if you, you can disagree with my criticism, but you said if you disagree, I want to talk to you. That's why I'm here. So my criticism for your position on where you're at, Tommy, is you filter everything through the lens of I'm not one of them. Instead of saying Every white man in this country who's called a founding father never said, I'm not one of them. They pushed a rhetoric of we are willing to die for this or, we, or they're going to die, but we're going to have what we want. And until black people can stop murdering the people in their own army, destroying their own military, which is their sons, nephews, uncles and fathers, until they can stop doing that. You're always going to be in a position where when your life is hanging in the balance and clear and present danger, you have to become a computer and make the right decision. People are going to laugh about your death and discuss it later on what you should have done. But the people that killed you will be fine because this is their land. Until you decide that you're willing to die for the life of your brother because his life is equal importance to your own sons and daughters, you cannot have a such thing as a nation. And you, in a leadership position with that flag behind you, you can push that rhetoric along with everything else you say. But you never say anything to the unification and militarization power of so-called black people. And military is not picking up guns and doing drills and shooting in the sky and, and, and having bombs and missiles. You'll never have more than that than the white man. He has such a head start on you, it's ridiculous. Militarization begins with structure. And he don't want you to have structure. Tommy wants to be Tommy and you niggas are niggas. And then when he decides through the lens that he's filtering what it means to be affluent under the auspice of what white people bring to the table, then you can be more than just a nigga. Until you reach that level, you're a nigga to Tommy. But what I'm trying to tell you is you're not a nigga. You've been taught to be that. And to escape that situation, you need to value the life of your I brother. I am not going to let you sit up here and keep over-talking me hey, on my own damn show. And I knew going to hear that because that crack Sir, you're not letting me talk. fucking talk. But this hey, is... You but hey, motherfucker, you. Listen, nigga. I'm telling hey, you. Hey, look, he's mad now. Hey, fuck you. I can't stand you niggas. I can't, wherever them two young dudes are, please come to Atlanta and take care of him too. 
Wherever those two, the, the, the two people who are out there in Brunswick. And this is why white people kill you niggas. Because I got to sit up here and listen to your black ass. They won't. I got to sit up here and listen to your stupid shit. And you see this stupid fag up here laughing as he did it. He was going to keep talking as long as my black ass was going to let him. And you know what that's called on the floor of the house? Filibustering. That's what fucking filibustering is. When you just keep talking and talking and talking because you're trying to see how long you can keep going without letting the other motherfucker respond. He's giggling and nine times out of eight, motherfucker, he got a YouTube channel. Nine times out of eight, he going to put this up on his YouTube channel. And hopefully nine times out of eight, he realized I'm flagging his shit. This is why no one. What's up? I had to present Crispy with don't, that don't award. Do, don't do that. Don't, What's don't up, do Crispy? That. I, I had to give you your award, yeah, Crispy. You, you, you I had no idea that this is you, you Crispy. Up, I did not set this you up. Set this up. Yes, you crispy. Did. I had to Crispy. I have no idea. Then why is he, crispy. Why is he in here? Tariq. I got to give you your award. I, I just came to give him his award. This is a grown man. Crispy. Let me give you your Coon Award. Crispy. Let me give you your Coon Award, Crispy. This is a grown man. This is a grown man. Shout out to Vlad. Shout out to my homie Vlad. I had to give Crispy his Coon Award. It's a grown man. I had to present Crispy with his Coon Award. Watch out, That's cool, man. No, no, no. Crispy, face, man. Let, me, let, me give you, let me give you your Coon no, no, Award, you Crispy. Let me give you your Coon Award, Crispy. There you go. And you letting this roll, huh? Let me give you your Coon Award, no, no, you Crispy. Come on, man. Why, you, you crispy. Yeah, you did. Crispy, let me give you your Coon Award. Crispy. Crispy, let me give you your Coon Award. Crispy, let me give you your Coon Award. Tariq, this is our interview. Can you? Okay, I'm about. It's my bad. How you doing, though, Vlad? You good? I'm good. Thank you. Shout out.